Hello and welcome. I am Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll see how to use the Agent Job List feature in Avaya Proactive Contact. The Agent Job List feature lets you restrict the agents from joining all available jobs running on the system. You can configure Agent Job Lists for each agent and assign the jobs to which they can join. Earlier, this feature was available only for the operator or QI based agents but from PC 5.0 onwards, it has been extended to the GUI agent application also. The agent job lists are managed through editor application and let's first see how they are created. I'm connected to an editor application and on the left hand side you can see the agent job list section. I'll click on that and when I click on agent job list, it says that the functionality is turned off and whatever changes you make here will be effective only after the functionality is turned on. I'll click OK here. Let's see from where we turn it on. So for that, I will log into the System Supervisor menu. I choose option 2 for calling lists and then option 8 for manage agent job lists. Here I see four options. Turn on the agent list functionality, turn it off and there are two more options which I'll talk about later in this video. For now, I'll choose option 2 to turn on the agent list functionality. I'll say yes. So the functionality has been turned on now and now let's go back to the editor application. So on the editor application under the agent job list, I'll click on new, click next and then it gives me the list of the agent IDs on the left and on the right hand side I see the names of the jobs that are currently in the system. So I can choose one agent or more from here to assign the job that they can join. So for this example, let me choose agent four and agent six, and I'll assign some jobs to them. Let me assign the infinity jobs. I click on next, and then I finish. Let me create one more. I'll click on new, click next, and this time maybe I'll choose agent nine, and assign the jobs out BND and out BND1. Click next and finish. So this means that when the agent 9 logs in, he will be able to log in to only the jobs out BND and out BND1. And similarly for agent 4, he'll be able to log into the infinity jobs as shown on the screen and same for agent 6. So this way you are able to restrict the agents from joining to other jobs which are not assigned to their list of permissible jobs to join. Let's also click on the verify button to make sure that they have been created correctly and it says verification successful. So the agent job lists have been created now and let's see the impact when an agent tries to join a job from an agent application. So as you see I have three windows open. I have the editor application showing the agent job lists. Currently it's showing the jobs for agent 9. I have a monitor application showing that there are three jobs running, OutBND1, Infinity44 and OutBND. And I have an agent application using which I will connect to the data now. I'm using agent 9 for this example. Press OK to log in. The agent is logged in now and let me press the join jobs button. And I'll see that there are only two jobs displaying here, OutBND and OutBND1 because the Infinity 44 job is not a part of the permissible jobs to join for Agent 9. So similarly, if Agent 6 or Agent 4 had joined, they would have seen only Infinity 44. So this way we were able to set the permissible list of jobs for an agent. Now coming back to the two menu options that we saw earlier, if you don't have the agent job list created for an agent, these settings will control if that agent will be able to log in to any job or not. If you turn on the agent join all jobs from here, then the system will allow the agent for which there is no agent job list created to join all jobs. If you turn it off, the system will not allow the agent to join any job. So this way you can control the agents to let them or not let them to join jobs if there is no agent job list created for them. That concludes the demonstration. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor at or at Avaya Mentor on Twitter. Thank you for choosing Avaya.